What's up guys? Welcome back to the Midwest Dream Car Collection. Today we'll be reviewing our authentic Sunny and Shares matching custom 1966 Mustangs. But before we do that, I think we need to get a little more into character. I agree. You asked for this exactly but now we're a little bit more comfortable and a lot more groovy let's check out these cars in 1965 Sonny and Cher took over the music industry with their number one hit single I got you babe this groovy duo had a knack for writing and recording songs that became real hits and they were actually pretty talented themselves Sonny and Cher really got their concert audiences rocking and they sure drove a cool pair of custom Mustangs made by the king of customizers himself, George Barris. Ford pulled Sonny and Cher's iconic Mustangs from production line in sequential order with just one serial number difference. Exactly, so there's one car between these two Mustangs and we're actually not sure where that car is. Yeah. So that will forever okay. be a mystery, I guess. I wonder if they ever found out where that one went. I would think, I would think someone's checked that out. Probably. Well, Shearer's Mustang was pretty outrageous um, and the decor with white fur seats and the hot pink suede side panels on the doors and then you can't miss the three inch fur carpeting or fur covering <laughs> on the floors which really just is a, a sure sheer statement and like Sonny's car the faux wood uh, glove box and, and console with the automatic shift and her car also has an 8-track player in it. And then her custom plate, sheer custom edition Ford Mustang. But everything else on the cars is pretty similar. Barris heavily customized the front ends of both cars with rectangular cutouts that are, I think they're from like a hardware store. I'm not sure what they come off of. They're not car features by any means. The headlights are rectangular too. That was a yeah. customization with the rectangular headlights. And yeah. I read somewhere that uh, he must have really liked those because he used those on quite a few of yeah, his future restorations, yeah, exactly. customizations too. And the tail lights are kind of Thunderbird like. They're not Thunderbird tail yeah. lights, but I don't know if anybody's ever quite figured out what car he took those from because they're not kind of a little bit of a cross between a Thunderbird and a Cougar and Shelby Mustang, kind of a tail light in there or something. Yeah. But pretty, pretty cool tail lights on them. On me. My hair's getting in the way. <laughs> Need a scarf? I actually I do. We we have one. Could have worn it, but oh well. <laughs> Sonny's Mustang is pretty tame in comparison to Cher. This car is tan and it features brown suede on the sides. Um, the interior is upholstered in bobcat fur. Both of these cars had automatic transmissions. Both have power steering and power brakes, but they had no air conditioning. Another neat feature of these cars is the faux wood steering wheels and dash panel, and the eight-track players, which were pretty cutting edge back in those days. Use awesome eight-track players. And the standard AM radio. What was his preset stations, I wonder? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know that None. <laughs> Maybe he's saying. We'll, we'll, saying we'll have to uh, tune into. Himself. I've got you, babe. I got you, babe. <laughs> oh, wow. Sonny really smoked, didn't he? He smoked, yeah. Or somebody smoked. We'll assume it was Sonny's ashes in there. We need to ask does anyone know Cher's last name? She does, I'm sure, but. She went by Cher Bono when she was married to Sonny. You know, okay. I don't know if she changed it when she married. Greg Allman, but um, her real her real birth name was like Sherry Lynn. Mm. I can't remember the last name. Sherry Lynn. Sherry Lynn. Sherry Lynn. I Sherry Lynn. Think. What we have down here we have temperature gauge, amps, oil and fuel, lights and wipers, and seat belt warning light. Yeah. 
seat belts weren't even standard features yet in 1966. No. Emergency flasher mm. off. Huh. That would have been an aftermarket thing. Yeah, it must have been. Twenty-four thousand three hundred eighty-two miles. Wow. So, like I said, those those two rectangles on top of the hood are from they're from some other something. But same with this grill. I think he picked this up at this hardware, hardware. store. You know, I read somewhere that that was pretty common to him to go to the hardware store and just find stuff to put on cars. In fact, I even heard that he took the the knobs off of his wife's kitchen cabinets and used them on a car. Really? She wasn't very happy about it. That's yeah, true or not, I don't know, but it yeah. sounds like it from you know what you see on on these. These are definitely something you'd find in a hardware store. It looks like a grate from a refrigerator or something like that, one put behind the other. Yeah. And Sunny's a little bit That might different. be right, actually. Grate from a refrigerator, like a shelf or something. Like a shelf, yeah. They're both 289 cubic inch displacement V8 engines. Sonny's was a four barrel, right? And Shares was a two barrel carburetor. And so Sonny's had more power and it had 225 horsepower, but Shares had only 200 with the two barrel carburetor. Blue engine. Ford blue. Okay. Cars came with alternators by then. Generators were a thing of the past and power steering. Windshield washer fluid bag. Hmm, that's kind of cool. That is cool. I remember, remember these. I wonder why hers was had a different carburetor set up. I kind of wondered that too. If that's just why they're coming on the assembly line? Maybe. I would guess that's probably what it was. Yeah. They didn't change them out, they just customized them. Both of these cars and restorations have been fully endorsed by Barris as authentic customizations. Yeah, so these are the real, these are the real deal. This is the real deal. Cher sat in this very spot. And Sunny right here. I feel just, I feel like her. <laughs> Crazy. You know, as outrageous as these cars are for 1960s and for what they, what they represented, they were right in tune with what what was going on back then and yeah and for Sonny and Cher and what they did and and, and the, the nation that loved them these cars just were perfect for them and so uh, we look at them now and go oh my gosh but yeah for the time it was right it was yeah a little unnecessary that we got this dressed up for it but I'm kind of thinking it would be really nice if if we could have Cher come through the museum check out her old car and Sonny's car along with it and let me know what exactly I got wrong on this costume. <laughs> and uh, let's see, I think they're having a share concert in Kansas City on April 18th and then she's having a concert in Wichita on the 22nd, I believe, or 20th Sounds right, or something. they're just like a day or two apart. Yeah, so there's enough time and, and we just happen days. to be right between We're those right two between cities. Them. Exactly. So. so that'd be a perfect time for Cher to stop through, check out her cars, talk to us about whatever. So Cher, if you hear this, we'd love to have you. Exactly. We would love to have you. We enjoy having your cars here at the museum. A lot of people come in and love these cars. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more content similar to this, I, I, I guess, soon. Sounds good.